Do you fancy learning how to paint a tiger in watercolour? Let me show you clips on how I painted the tiger's eye. Let's get stuck in. The first thing you'll think about is getting the drawing on the paper. Once that drawing's on there, then you can really start to fine tune what you want to do. Try and get the drawing as accurate as you can to begin with. That's what I'm always thinking about when I'm doing this. So I tend to work wet and wet a lot with a lot of paintings that I do, especially when I'm trying to paint an eye or eyes. There's usually more than one, isn't there? And using a wet surface tends to help me to kind of give me a bit more time to get the blending just right. But I want to blend it so I can create like a feel of a globe, a feel of shape within the eye. And uh, once you've got that shape by adding colour on top of colour, so basically layering and glazing colours, then you can start thinking about adding smaller details over the top of that. But it's also got texture within the eye, not physical texture you can touch, not that you want to touch it, but you've also got a lot of texture in there, which is what I'm painting now, trying to get the texture on there. So I'm blending all the time, I'm thinking about the shape, I'm thinking about the curvature of the eye, and even outlining the eye with a dark colour. So that's what I want to do with a finer kind of tipped uh, brush, like a double zero or something like that, so it's really, really fine. So now I'm starting to try and pick out all the details around the eye, thinking about shape again, thinking about form, thinking about the direction that all the hairs on the outside of the eye go in. Once you've got all that on, then you've got to add in the extra details to kind of really fine tune what's going to be within the eye. So again, like the highlights I'm doing now, how do you do the eye light? Or what kind of part of the eye can you see the eye light on? What can you see within the eye light? How can you see really deeply in there? So then I'm thinking about the outside of the eye, uh, the bottom eyelid, which is what I'm working on now, trying to think about the shape all the time of that. Um, I tend to akin it to like a rope, you know, so you've got all the little lines within a rope and how that kind of rope kind of twists and turns. So there you go, that's how to paint a tiger's eye. So if you enjoyed this video, come and join me for the full tutorial on how to paint not just the tiger's eye itself, but also the complete tiger's face, complete tiger's head, working on all the fur and all the details. Come and see me on my online teaching channel. So follow the links and remember to click on thumbs up, share and subscribe. So I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.